What's up guys, Adrian Amaral here with another repair. Right now we have a ZTE Blade Z-Max. It's a model Z982, it's not charging. Um, the charging port looks pretty bad on the inside. Uh, I don't think you're gonna be able to see too close in there, but yeah, so we have new charging ports. We're gonna have to desolder this one and then solder a new one onto that. And let's get it started. <laughs> All right, there it is. So for these, we have two options. We can <clears throat> we can replace it. Uh, by desoldering the old one and soldering back a new one or we can do the it has the whole flex thing that's a little bit easier but we're gonna do the soldering version of this repair so I'm just gonna get a blade here so I can wedge it and I'm gonna stick my plastic tool and just go all around the edges <clears throat> Go around the edges, there's adhesive. You could heat it up just a tad bit. I'm not going to do it, but you can. But just be careful because it's plastic. So, and then be careful with this uh, fingerprint sensor because um, it has a cable that runs along this side, if I'm not mistaken. So, you always want to just be careful when there's any type of buttons or fingerprint sensors in the back take it easy take it slow look inside it first and here you can see where the, the ribbon for the fingerprint sensor is located so there we have it so we're gonna start taking the screws out <clears throat> all right Yep, yep. So along the sides, we got the silver screws, and then on the top and bottom, you got the black screws. Try to remember that. Careful not to rip that flex cable for the fingerprint button. Alright, come on, come on. Sides. There it is, I dropped it. Alright, we got one more screw here. These are not that popular, these repairs. You get them once in a while, but it's not like an iPhone screen replacement or an iPhone battery replacement or something like that, you know? Or even Samsung's are still a little bit more popular. Even though they're more expensive, they're still a little bit more popular. Like with the Samsung's and, and, and other devices, don't, don't forget to remove the SIM tray. You just never know if it's connected to, like, if it's holding the board or the frame together. So I'm just going to, I don't remember if this one has it or not, if it's connected or holding it in place. So I'm just going to remove the SIM tray. <clears throat> and then I'm going to see about, let me see here. Uh-uh. How is this? If I'm not mistaken this comes out the screen comes out first I want to see if I could get rid of this home button because it's really a uh, it's really in the way I don't want to rip it I guess I'm gonna have to uh, 
to swing, uh, go, uh, I'm gonna have to tr do it without removing that, because, so, I believe it's, so you have two layers here, you got the screen layer, and then you got the middle frame here, so I'm gonna hit it from here. <clears throat> That's our pairs. Sí, dígame. Todavía no está listo. Eh, va a estar un poquito pasado de las seis. ¿Le puedo regresar la llamada a este número? Ok, yo le, yo le llamo cuando esté listo, ¿ok? Sí, ahí que ahorita lo estoy trabajando ahorita mismo. Ándele, pues. Muy bien. Ok, bye. That was the customer for this phone. He wants his phone. <laughs> like, you can watch it on YouTube. I should have told him, huh? Watch me break it on YouTube. <laughs> All right, so and that home button really bugs me, but it's okay. Let me see here. Maybe it's not from there. I swear this thing is easier than it looks, man. This this one's supposed to be one of the easy ones. <clears throat> I'm gonna hit it from there, maybe. Yeah, it has to be there. There you go. I knew it. All right, so I got that little wedge, that little side wedge, a bit. I'm gonna hit it with my plastic tool. Bam! I'm telling you, this one was an easy one. The hard part is going to be soldering and desoldering the the charging port. I'm pretty sure I have one of these charging ports, like the whole flex and everything, laying around. But I don't want to look for it, and I want I want the challenge. Um, I want the challenge, you know. Okay, I'm gonna get another, maybe this pick right here. This is too flimsy, but it's okay. Let me see what, what that gets me. Let me see if there's any other screws up here that I might be missing. Nope. Be very careful not to break the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and wedge it from this side too now. Yeah, this is this is a hard one. I don't know why these are usually a little bit easier, but oh well. Here we go. Let me get another one of these. Suckers really on there. All right, so it's almost, it's almost out. Oh, uh, let's see. Do we have a screw here? And we don't. What do we have here? Sometimes these screws, these screws will be hiding. Okay, so this video is going to be primarily about opening this freaking phone.
There's gotta be something holding it there. If you guys wanna watch me possibly break this, don't tell me that's a screw right in there. Take the sticker off. Watch there be a uh, screw right in there. to have a screw there. Let me see. Shouldn't be this difficult guys. <clears throat> this thing's making me sweat. No screw guys. What the? <sighs> Come on, ZTE. You've never done this to me. It's just clips. Can you believe that? Okay, I'm gonna take this little shield off. That doesn't even wanna come off. You gotta be kidding me, guys. Okay, okay, so what was this thing right here? You see this little bracket right there? It's really on there, so you gotta push it down. You push it down and this thing unlocks. That's weird. Freaking thing. There we go. <clears throat> now let me see this real quick. I don't know if I unplugged the battery, but or this LCD cable, but it was kind of unplugged. I may I may have done it with the plastic spudger, but let me let me go ahead and plug it back in. Let's see here. Oh, no, there's definitely a short in there. This thing smells burnt. So, that tells me that the motherboard could be burnt. Um, we don't know yet. But because of that, I kind of feel like, feel like testing just the... Just the charging port. I don't want to have to do all that work and and find out that it's Hold on, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it. <clears throat> so heat up that bottom part so that the port board can come up. 
to the side. I'm going to focus on this little board. I'm going to get my Omnivice here and um, start working on it. Right, let's check out the microscope real quick. See what it looks like. Yeah, that thing looks nasty. So, this repair, if you have, if you have one of these phones laying around, just open it, take the board out. I mean, the the charging port board. And just replace it, so you don't have to go through all this stuff. I'm gonna turn on my custom made fume extractor. Okay. I'm 
going to compare the new charging port with the old it's the same you got it when comparing these things you have to look at the pins all right so you got two that are close together on the new one, two close together on the old. There's a gap, there's a gap. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Gap and then two. This fits it. Look how nasty this thing is. Look at the inside of this thing. This thing is heavily corroded. Yeah. Sometimes you can just clean them and it'll work. They'll work again. But um, I just want to show you guys how to solder these things. All right. <clears throat> Let's clean that up a little bit. They look pretty good. I don't know if we're gonna need to. Add more uh, solder to that, and I think it looks good. some flux I really don't think we need any um, any more solder on here a little bit of corrosion there it should be good let's do some flux Kind of a lot of flux, but I'm gonna need it. to my bigger tip you should really be using a bigger tip for this you'll see the difference you see that compared yep but I'm still gonna just use my my skinnier one
So that's on there. Now we just gotta um, get our solder, our ironing solder, our solder iron, whatever it's called. Touching. We have this connect. This is connecting. This is connecting. This is connecting. We have all connecting. Hmm. And we're just gonna test them. good to go <clears throat> there's that new charging port okay but you see they're a little it's a little loose I don't like that I'm gonna add more um, solder to the to these at um, these holes <laughs>
Alrighty then. Let's party. There, it's not that loose anymore. They could look better, but hey, it's, it's fine. Alright, let's put it back on. Let's test it. And let's see if his board wasn't um, burnt. A lot of times it could be the motherboard too. Okay, let's connect this antenna. And let's plug in the battery and let's see what's going on. Let's see here. Alrighty then, we got charged, people. My um, ammeter is not tripping out. Earlier when I was plugging it into this old nasty corroded port, the ammeter was flickering. It was going like... Well, battery too low, plug in charger for full charge charging. All right. So uh, I'm going to put it back together so you guys can... Um, let me just double check it again. There it is. It's good to go. I'm put it back together just for the sake of the tutorial. Although you could just reverse the steps. But I won't leave you guys halfway. Put my blade away. I don't need I'm not gonna need to uh, pry anything anymore, I don't think. Put my tools away. No, I need the screwdriver. Put this extra charging port. Back where it goes. I guess you guys don't need to see me clean up either, right? <laughs> Alright. So remember that this uh, back cover has a fingerprint button and the cable goes through the frame, okay? So we're gonna do this. We're gonna plug in the fingerprint sensor. It's right here. See that? There you go. And um, now it's just a matter of clicking and screwing. So. Now remember guys, for these phones, the Z, Z982s, and wait, yeah, and Z981s, a lot of times it's easier to just order the port uh, the charging port board you guys saw the little board I took out it's, it's it's easier you know you don't have to solder anything or if you have a, an old ZTE there just laying around you can remove it oops I'm already clicking stuff without putting the screws so um, it's your, that's up to you you know I wanted to do it I, I have the ports here I bought them for a reason I didn't want to look for for the phone in my junk box and then having to take it apart just uh. but anyways mostly I didn't want to look for it if you guys remember the silver ones go along the sides so um yeah I don't want to look for the phone and take it apart so Honestly, it's easier if you just um, change the whole board. You don't have to solder anything. I guess some people like to solder and some people like the challenge. Or to some, maybe soldering is easier than, than taking the phone apart. You know, you just never know. So. Oh, 
faster man, time to come already. His name is Felipe. Sí, con Felipe. Ya está el teléfono, Felipe. ¿En cuánto llega? Aquí lo miro. Ok, bye bye. We close at 6. It's 6.15. It was my fault. I, uh, I had to go do, run some errands. I had to go to the post office, so... The guy was literally, like, I literally kicked him out. <laughs> I was like... I'm leaving, I'm running late, he just gave me his phone. He gave me his phone and I was like, okay, I'll fix it for you, bye. <laughs> now sometimes, you'll see like a little, like the screen doesn't fit properly, like, well, it's lifted, it's just the frame, you just gotta click it in, it's happened to me before. Just be careful, you don't want to put too much pressure. Sometimes you you may have left something in there. You see like right here, this has to click in. And it's not clicking in because the little bracket got bent. You see this bracket right here? go centre it goes like this you find the little hole you see there's a hole there for the sim eject tool and the hole here so just line it up and uh, let's test it one more time So, let me get back to this. That concludes our ZTE Blade ZMAX Z982 charging port replacement solder. You guys, please share our channel, subscribe, like our videos, and if you want to come learn how to fix phones, send us an email at contact at 911gadgets.com. It's a five day course. Monday through Friday, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. You're going to learn all the tips and tricks on how to run a successful cell phone repair shop. Thank you guys for tuning in. Till next time.